What's up everyone, RyFX here, and welcome to my review of the Hot Toys Guardians of the Galaxy Gamora. On the front of the box we have this nice starry background in the green with a pink G. And it's kind of like in this 80s style with the grid on the bottom. And then you have an actual picture of Gamora, aka Zoe Saldana. On this side of the box we pretty much see the same thing, but we see MMS 259. Gamora wants to scale collectible figure. Now on the back of the box we just see a pink G again but with warning labels all inside that G kind of takes away a little bit and on the side we pretty much see the same exact thing as on the other side and on the top of the box we see Guardians of the Galaxy and on the bottom we see Guardians of the Galaxy. Now once you slip the slip cover off you're treated with the window display and those blue lines all at the side are the measurements and feet because when you see the guardians being detained and about to go into that prison they have that little scale in the back showing how tall each guardian is which is pretty cool it's, and it's pretty much the same thing as the outside of the box now here are all the accessories that come with the Gamora figure you get a pair of slightly open hands a pair of fisted hands, a pair of sword holding hands, a short sword, and a long sword, and a pair of wrist pegs. Now here's a long sword. All the black little lines and such are all engraved in the long sword. You could actually feel it and it really provides some nice detail to the sword. I really love the way this looks. Now here's the Guardians of the Galaxy Gamora stand. This is the same stand that's, that comes with all the other Guardians of the Galaxy figures. It, they look all the same and I just love that they're all matching like that. It's really cool. Now here's the Gamora figure. I just love the sculpt on this thing. It looks just like Zoe Saldana. I'm very happy with the way they sculpted it. It looks like her on pretty much every angle. I'm very happy and the suit is real nice looking uh, it's of course a simple suit like Black Widow and all your other female characters unfortunately they're just pretty simple and the boots it, it looks straight out of the movie I'm very happy with how this is now the arms on the this figure it is a rubber just pretty much to hide the joints in the elbows that's all its purpose is and it, it does hinder some um, articulation which you'll see that later and some other problems but yeah the suit looks just awesome I'm very happy with the suit uh, the stitching it could have probably been done a little bit better and hidden a little bit better in the back there but I think they did a great job with the suit and they use hair for this my hair came in really fuzzy and it, it didn't I could never get it quite like the promo pictures that we saw now we'll do some articulation first in the head she could look about all the way down there uh, really nice articulation she does have rubber in her neck as well to help with that articulation and she could look all the way up there which is probably not all that great as you can see when you're turning it side to side you can see how the the rubber kind of hides the joints when you're turning it and you could do a full 360 in the head now when you do articulation in the shoulder she does pretty well her the rubber in her arm does not start at that point. It, you can see the joint a little bit in the video here. And it, it could go all the way around 360. It does a great job as far as the shoulder. For the elbow area, it's not exactly the same. You get a good amount of motion, but the rubber does does hinder a bit. It, it's really thin rubber, and it feels like it kind of wants to split a little bit. I'll explain more a little bit later in the video. Now for the ab section, she could 
pull up all the way there and you can bend her to about there and you get some side to side movement as well she actually gets okay ab movement as far as the splits it, she can't go too far because of the tight pants unfortunately and as far as going back in the leg and forward she does okay I wouldn't say it's all that great as far as knee articulation she has pretty good knee articulation because double jointed and for ankle pivot there is none now if you could see that little spot that's on the rubber right there that was caused because I had the arm of her just completely bent and somehow it, it just rubbed it doesn't look as bad now but before it was completely white and I guess as time went on it started to change back to green a little bit but you could tell it just rubbed all off it's quite unfortunate that that had to happen but I really wish considering how thin the rubber is on this particular figure that they should have just kept it off and kept the joints the way they they should be it's it's really awful to see your almost $200 figure to just deteriorate like that I only had it for maybe two weeks bent and it just ended up like that so for $190 this figure just seems to just not make that point uh, for me it seems a little bit too expensive it's really bare bones there's hardly any accessories with with this and considering the problems I have with the rubber on the arm and of course the hair just being insanely crazy it didn't come out anywhere near like the promo pics it came out a lot worse than you see in this video I could never get it to the promo pics so for 190 it just barely doesn't seem worth it it and considering how much it's hindered by the costume you can't have her do some crazy poses and there's no ankle pivot I can't really get myself to to recommend it at 190 it has to come down a lot more than that maybe 150 or so but yeah they need to put ankle pivot they need to make sure that hair is in shape when you get it you know you're paying almost 200 bucks for this so it should come looking just like it does in the pictures it it should look just like that for almost two hundred dollars it needs to look like that so considering that I cannot recommend it for $190 uh, maybe 160 considering how bare bones it is and the problems it has and it needs a kind of a, a better face to it it needed that smirk that sh like she has on the front of the box I think that would have been a nice look for this figure it looks too neutral in the face yes it does look like Zoe Saldana from all angles but it needed that that charm to it I think that smirk would have added that charm maybe we'll see it in the Guardians of the Galaxy 2 figures who knows but yeah so that is my review of the Hot Toys Guardians of the Galaxy Gamora this is the MMS 259 thank you all for watching and yeah please like comment and subscribe I would truly appreciate that and yeah I will see y'all next time bye bye if you enjoyed that video please be sure to like comment share and subscribe you have five seconds to comply four three two one